Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on Azure Service Level Agreements, your roadmap to understand how Microsoft guarantees the performance and uptime of its cloud services. But before moving on, make sure that you've subscribed to our channel and clicked on this bell icon so that you may never miss any update from us. First of all, let's start with understanding what is SLA. So SLA stands for Service Level Agreement. It refers to a document that outlines a commitment between a service provider and a client. Now in terms of Azure, the Azure Service Level Agreement is a commitment made by Microsoft Azure to its customers regarding the availability and performance of its cloud services. It outlines the level of service reliability that customers expect from Azure. Now let's take a look at some of the major benefits offered by Azure SLA. First is service availability. Azure SLA guarantees a certain level of service availability, ensuring that Azure services are operational and accessible to customers when they need them. Next is risk mitigation. The Azure SLA provides a mechanism for compensating customers in case Azure fails to meet its service availability targets. Lastly, customer satisfaction. Customers can trust that Azure takes their needs seriously and prioritize delivering high quality services that meet their requirements. Along with benefits, Azure SLA also has some drawbacks. The first is its complexity. Azure SLA documents can be lengthy and complex, containing technical jargon and legal language that may be difficult for non-technical users to understand. Next, it has some limitations. Azure SLA often includes exclusions and limitations that define scenarios where the SLA commitments do not apply. Lastly, service credits. While service credits are provided to compensate customers for downtime, the actual value of these credits may not always fully offset the financial losses incurred by customers during service outages. Moving on, let's look into the different components of Azure SLA. The main components include service availability, service level objectives, service credits, exclusions, and customer information. So let's move on and discuss our first component in detail, that is service availability. So are you ready to understand the reliability and performance commitments of Azure? Join us in a detailed session as we delve into Azure service level agreement. Learn how Azure guarantees service availability and performance to ensure your cloud solutions are dependable and robust. Don't miss out on this crucial learning opportunity. Enhance your knowledge of Azure SLAs today.